Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the BK-401A 4 input, 1 output, 8K HDMI switch. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to connect four different HDMI media devices with a single ultra high definition 8K monitor at the same time while providing complete control over which of those media streams is being displayed on the monitor at any given time by tapping the button on the front of the unit or by using the infrared remote control. The product fully supports 8K media content at up to 60 frames a second and 4K content at up to 120 frames a second. It is also both eARC and ARC compatible, so you can use it with all of your modern media devices. The product also provides audio extraction capabilities that will digitally separate the audio component from the media stream you're displaying and allow you to pass that along through an analog or an optical SP diff connection to a home stereo or a sound bar for that theater experience. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included, and then I'll take a closer look at the unit and I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then I'll do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first open up the box, you'll find the BK-401A. You'll find a single 5 volt 1 amp DC power supply. You can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the DC port on the back of the unit and provides all the power you'll need for operation. You'll also find an infrared remote control, which makes it really easy to make your selection from the comfort of your couch. A warranty card is included, as well as a full instruction manual that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and a lot of other really important information about the product that you'll need to understand in order to use it correctly. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do that demonstration. The BK401A features a full metal enclosure, which makes it incredibly durable and the perfect choice for both residential and commercial installations. On either side of the cabinet, You'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape and keep the electronics inside at a very comfortable temperature. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find an infrared receiver window, and that's where the signals from the remote control are picked up. So when you set this up in your media center, make sure that window is visible if you're using the remote control. To the right of that is a power indicator. When you add power to the unit, it starts an internal power on self-test where it checks the electronics, and once it passes that test, it'll light that LED letting you know the module's ready to use. To the right of that are four input indicators, one, two, three, and four, and these let you know which of the inputs is currently being sent to the output. One of these will be lit up during normal operation, and that input will be displayed on whatever you have connected to the output. To the right of those is an output indicator. When you connect this up to the monitor, that HDMI connection is checked, and once it's been verified, this LED will come on, letting you know you have a solid connection. To the right of that is an auto indicator. You can manually select which of the inputs is being sent to the output, or you can put it in automatic mode, where the unit will select that input for you. To the right of that is an eARC indicator. This product provides audio extraction capabilities, and it's also eARC compatible. So if you connect the output of this to an eARC device and you turn the eARC function on, this LED will stay on solid. If you connect it to a device and turn it on and it's flashing, that means you've got a problem with the connection to that eARC device or it's not a compatible device. And of course, if you turn it off, the LED will be off. To the right of that is another button you can use to switch between the inputs manually. You can also use the infrared remote control. To the right of that is a bank of EDID switches, and these are used to change the frame rate, resolution, and audio style for your input media versus your output media, and these are actually explained very well in the manual. To the right of that is a service port that's used for updating the firmware on the module later on if needed, and to do that update, you'll actually move the firmware file from your computer to the module through a cable, and that'll complete the upgrade. On the rear of the modules where you'll make your connections, Starting on the left, you'll find four input ports that are all full-sized HDMI ports labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4. The first one is an eARC port, so you want to make sure you connect the current device that's eARC compatible to that port. To the right of that is an output port, and again, it's an eARC port, and this connects to your output device. To the right of that are two audio output ports, a digital SP diff, and an analog left and right. As I mentioned, this product does audio extraction, so if you'd like to extract that audio and send it to a home stereo or a soundbar, you can use these connections to pass that audio along. 
Finally, to the right of that is a DC input port, and that's used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that power supply into a wall outlet. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there and provides all the power you'll need for operation. The O-Ray BK-401A is compatible with a wide range of modern HDMI media devices, including game consoles, digital projectors, media players like Apple TV, streaming devices, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of 8K ultra high definition media content. It provides connections for four input devices and a single output device. It is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant. It provides support for both ARC and EARC audio, and it includes an infrared remote control to make your selection easy. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up four small media players. Each of them are displaying a different image just to make it easy to tell them apart. And these are the four media devices that I'd like to share on my output device. Over here I've set up a single monitor as that output device. And this is where I'd like to enjoy the content from these four media players. In front of me I have the BK401A. Now the first set of connections I'll make are from the media devices directly to the unit. I've already connected up four high-speed HDMI cables to the media players, and I'll plug those into HDMI input port number one, number two, number three, and finally number four. And now I can connect my output monitor. I've got another high-speed cable connected to that, and that plugs into the HDMI output port on the 401A. Now all we need at this point is power. I've already plugged in the power supply. The other end of the cable, has a barrel connection on it which plugs directly into the DC port in the back of the unit. And the minute I add power to the product, it immediately starts that internal power on self-test to check the electronics. It's also verifying the connection to the media devices. It's checking the resolution of my input devices. It's verifying the connection to my output device and checking the resolution of that and making whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture for the particular input that's selected. Right now we're in input number three. And to change that, I can tap the button on the front of the unit and it'll move to the next input. You can also use the remote control to directly switch to a particular input if there's one you want to view. So for example, on the remote, let me switch to input number two and it'll move directly to input number two. And that's nice because even though you may be close enough to the unit to hit the button, if it's on your desk in your computer room, having the remote means you can set this up on your media center and make those selections from quite a distance away. And you can walk through all four inputs or again, use the remote to go directly to any input you like. And it really is just that simple to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray BK-401A 4 input, 1 output, 8K HDMI switch helpful. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to share a single ultra high definition 8K monitor with up to four different HDMI media devices at the same time while providing complete control over which of those media streams is being displayed on the monitor at any given time by simply pushing a button on the front or by using the infrared remote control. The product fully supports 8K ultra high definition media content at up to 60 frames a second as well as 4K content at up to 120 frames a second. It is both ARC and EARC compliant and fully supports both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 standards, which means it's essentially plug and play with all of your modern media gear. The product also provides audio extraction capabilities where it can digitally separate the audio from the media stream you're displaying and allow you to pass that along through an analog or an SPDIF digital connection to a stereo or a soundbar for that theater experience. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks again for watching.